Hello guys, welcome back to a new video from Barkytron here, and today I'm going to be teaching you about the compression dynamo from thermal expansion. Let's get right into it. Okay, so here I have tested a ton of different combinations, all having to do with refined fuel. So if you're using your refined fuel in your compression dynamo, this is the tutorial for you. If not, I would recommend I might upload a different tutorial for other fuels. Although this would still be useful for other fuels, I'm just saying, I tested this with a fine fuel, so, yeah. So I'm going to be showing you all the combinations and like what the best combinations are. And first off, let's start off with how a compression dynamo works. So let's go do that. Okay guys, so the compression dynamo is a basic dynamo, dynamo you get for generating power in the mod thermal expansion. Thermal expansion comes with a bunch of different dynamos. This is the compression dynamo. So you may be wondering, how does the compression dynamo work? Well, this is the crafting recipe. You need a tin gear, two tin ingots at the bottom. Yeah, you get it. And this is just the silver one. All right. So there are tons of different fuels you can use in the compression dynamo. Like I said, today we're gonna to be looking at refined fuel. And depending, so this column right here is for fuel. This column right here is for fuel, and this column right here is for coolant. Different coolants will give you different amounts of total power, along with different augmentations will give you different amounts of power with the different amounts of coolant. So let's let's go take a look at what is the most efficient use of your refined fuel in a compression dynamo. Another quick disclaimer, I am not going to be testing steam power in this video, so I'm not going to be testing the compression dynamo with the steam setup. Just so you know. Okay, so here are all the combinations I've tested. Let's go start going through them. So the first one I've done is refined fuel and water, just a basic compression dynamo, not upgraded at all. And it gives you the base 1.5 million RF you get for one bucket. These are all tested with one bucket of refined fuel, just different, Every, other things are different. Next up, you get the same exact amount, 1.5 million RF, even if it's upgraded and you don't have any augmentation inside. So what happens if you used refined fuel and crushed ice from forestry? Well, you get 1.7 million RF. So the cooler you, your coolant is, the more power, the more efficient the compression dynamo is. Again, as you can see, no augments. Next up is refined fuel and gelled cryothium. Now this, gelled cryothium, as we know, is very much colder. Also, the colder your thing, the less fuel you, the less coolant you, you will use less coolant if your coolant is cooler and you will also get more electricity. So gelled cryothium is cooler than crushed ice, which is cooler than water. So the crushed ice, ice generate 1.7 million, this generate 2.2 million, this generated 2 million. All right, next up is water with the speed upgrade, 1.5 million RF, because it's it just generates faster. So if you want higher output, go for this. Actually, don't go for that. There's better combination down the line. Next up, gelled. So if you don't know, there's this augmentation. Coolant is not consumed for operation. It just like reuses a coolant, so I decided to put gel cryotheum in there with that and speed upgrades. You get the 2 million. All efficiency in gel cryotheum. So this, you get almost 3 million RF. So that's almost double the RF for one bucket. Now, for refined fuel, there is this special speciali special specialization special specialization in for the compression dynamo and refined fuel and this I actually recommend using this 
Because if you have this in, and efficiency upgrades in all the other slots, you can generate the 3 million RF using water that you had to use gel cryo theme for. So that, that specialization is really good. Now the crushed ice with the efficiency upgrades is 3.1 million and the cryo with the fuel specialization and efficiency upgrades is 3.5 million. I'm pretty sure this is the most efficient use of your refined fuel. Gelled repeating and efficiency, we already we already looked at that. Actually did we? I don't know. But it's 2.7 million. Fuel specialization, water, and speed upgrades. So this is the maximum power output you can get from a compression dynamo. Alright? So yeah. Maximum power output. Maximum power output. And it's still decently efficient at 2.2 million, 2.25 million, two and a quarter million RF. Now we have the fuel specialization, the ice and the speed, you get 2.5 million. Fuel specialization, the cryo and the speed, you get 2.79 million. The gel repeating, one speed and two efficiency, you get 2.5 million, so that's all that. Oh boy. And then all efficiency in water. Let's see, one bucket used, 2.25 million. All right, now that we looked at that, which one should you use and what is the best depending on your needs? Well, let's take a look. If you want the most efficient combination, so the most efficient use of your refined fuel, and you don't care about any other resources, I recommend going with this. If you don't care about how many compression dynamos you have to make to make power and your gel cryotheme and stuff, this is the most efficient use of refined fuel, making you over double the amount of power refine or bucket of refined fuel normally makes. If you do care about resources and you just want the highest output power output amount from a single compression dynamo, you can just put in the fuel specialization and three speeds. The fuel specialization is made like this with an electrum one. And these they're not that hard. And this still generates a de you a decently efficient one at 2.2 and a quarter million RF. So now what would I recommend as a good balance will probably be this one where you have the fuel specialization and a ton and the fuel catalyzers using water and the refined fuel. Because then you get around double the amount of power a bucket of refined fuel normally makes while also being a while also being able to just use water and Although it is not overkill on power, it'll still be quite efficient. I have not tested how efficient the boilers are. If this video does pretty well, I will test how efficient the boilers are. I hope this has helped you finding out how a compression dynamo works. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.